The item row widget allows you to display exhibit items in horizontal rows on your feature pages. Captions, as well as a heading and a text description, can be displayed along with the items, but we'll change the layout as you'll see in this video. To use the item row widget on a feature page, navigate to your dashboard and select Feature Pages from the Curation submenu. Under Custom Pages, click Edit for the feature page where you'd like to add the item row widget. You can also get to the same editing interface by clicking the red Edit button at the top right corner of a feature page. Click on the red plus sign to the left of the box to open up the widget menu and choose the item row widget from the list of exhibit item widgets. To add items, click on the box that says Enter a Title. For the first item you add, you will immediately see a drop-down list of all available items in your exhibit. Choose an item and it will be added to your list. Continue adding items. For subsequent items, the full list of available items will not automatically appear. You will need to type in the first three letters or more of the title, after which you will be presented with a list of matches. Item sizes are adjusted to fit on the page, but if there are too many, they may be automatically wrapped onto one or more additional rows. You can choose the order in which the items will be displayed, but you cannot control the size or the wrapping. To reorder the items, click and hold on the three stacked lines to the left of the item you'd like to move, drag it to its new location, and release the mouse. Be sure to click on the Save Changes button to save your work. You can see that the three items I selected are displayed in a single row in the order I chose. It may take some trial and error to determine what looks best for any particular set of objects. Let's now go back and test out some of the optional features for this widget by clicking the red Edit button at the top right corner of this page. There are several options in the item row widget. You can add a heading and text to be displayed to either the left or right of your content. If I save these changes, you will see that this shrinks the available space for displaying the items and, in this case, causes them to wrap to a second row. Let's try a different option for the header and description. Click the red Edit button to edit your page. We will delete the header and text in the Item Row widget. And use the Header widget to add a header and the text widget to add a description. With these widgets, the header and text will display above or below your content instead of to the side. This layout may look nicer with your content and the layout of your page. Let's edit our page one more time to look at some further options. You can also choose primary and secondary captions for the individual items from the available metadata fields. You must use the same metadata fields for all items, for example, the title field for the primary caption or the date field for the secondary caption. You may also choose to turn on the ZPR functionality, which allows for zooming of individual images. Once again, if I click on the Save Changes button to save my work, you will see that the title and date captions are now displaying on individual items as well as the Show in ZPR Viewer button which allows zooming in and out and full screen viewing of individual items. Click anywhere outside the ZPR window to exit this functionality. As mentioned earlier, it can take some playing around to achieve the most pleasing arrangement of items with this widget.